there's been a cultural mega shift when it comes to mm -hmm. marriage in terms of how we define it, how we understand it. You know, you go back a generation and the typical path to marriage was you met somebody, you dated for a while, you got engaged, you got married, you moved in together, you started having sex and then you had kids, right? right. Today, you meet somebody, you date a couple of times, you start having sex, you move in together, you have kids and then you get married. It's, right. So it's a, a whole different pathway, and we can't help but be influenced in our thinking by what's going on in the culture around us. I want to ask you this, because again, you have been in the, the marriage world for such a long time. Have you seen a shift in marriages over the last 30 years of ministry? Or are you seeing basically the same thing um, when when I'm you know I'm talking about specifically struggling marriages? Yeah. Um, are you seeing more marriages struggle today, or have you not really seen a change? No, I I think there's been a cultural mega shift when it comes to mm -hmm. marriage in terms of how we define it, how we understand it. You know, you go back a generation, and the typical path to marriage was you met somebody, you dated for a while. You got engaged, you got married, you moved in together, you started having sex, and then you had kids, right? right? Today, you meet somebody, you date a couple of times, you start having sex, you move in together, you have kids, and then you get married. It's right. So it's a, a whole different pathway, and we can't help but be influenced in right. our thinking by what's going on in the culture around us. So young people today have a very different perspective of marriage. Yeah. Well, Marianne and I were sitting together with a 19 year old uh, recently who was talking to us about wanting to be married someday. She is, she's got a boyfriend now and, and they're living together and she wants to be married someday. And so we were talking about, well, how do you see marriage as being different than the two of you living together? And for her, this is just the normal path. She's doing what she's watching all of her peers do in this situation, but but her thinking has been shaped more culturally than biblically when right. it comes to marriage. And that that affects then how we relate to one another when we're in a marriage relationship. So yeah. I would say culturally, there's been a big shift in how we think about marriage and how we, how we honor marriage. But I would say in marriage, most of the issues that couples are having can still go back to what we talked about earlier when we talked about selfishness being at the core of most mm -hmm. of the the, the conflict that we're having in marriage. So couples today in a marriage relationship, what, what isolates us in marriage is pretty much the same thing that isolated people for centuries. But we live in a very different world when it comes to honoring marriage. I think we're, we're quicker to say, if we're not getting along, then, then divorce is the, yeah. the solution we should look toward rather than how do we save this or how do we work this out? Um, so, so I think we have a different cultural view of marriage, but a lot of the marriage conflict is still similar to what couples have dealt with throughout history. Sure. Yeah. It is really interesting to see, you know, the Bible says that Satan comes to steal, kill and destroy, and he is doing everything he can right now to destroy yeah. the family unit in every way. Um, parent, you know, relationships, marriage relationships, um, you know, even friendships. I mean, it's just incredible to see his claws digging in especially to the Christian families, you know, homeschool families who are committed to raising their kids in Christ likeness and teaching their kids about Jesus and really genuinely wanting to show their kids what a good, healthy marriage looks like. And, and it's hard because Satan's like, Nope, I don't want you yeah. to do that. And so he's going to do everything he can to attack our families. Um, those who are walking, you know, towards the cross and trying to lead our kids towards the cross. Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 